Welcome everyone back to another Yazi TCG video now in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I found out that Bushi Road apparently on their website, on the Card for Vanguard website, has official deck lists. So I thought, you know, we got the next five, we got the next ones for set 12. You know, I thought it'd be funny to go check them out. You know, maybe, maybe Bushi Road be cooking onto something that we just don't know. Maybe, you know, they make the cards. They gotta know something, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, we have this Bob Zagra list here, and I, uh... I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, this looks standard. Like, okay, they're pushing... They're pushing this, these new motherfuckers. They're pushing, they're pushing these new motherfuckers. The fuckers that put, like, the ride deck cards back to do stuff they're pushing them that's fine because it's a big promotion i get like you know valor at four the new cards at four i get it i get it and then i come down to the fucking arms and i'm just like what <laughs> now due to the fact we have so many ways now to cycle between one they're not like that bad why is this not at, at bare minimum three like at bare minimum i need you this needs to be at three the two new ones can be at one because you can cycle through them now. Why aren't they running the sword just in case you draw the shield? Like if you draw the shield with Mulligan, your ride deck now does dick shit, dick bubkis. Oh, that I can't, I can't really say anything. Like the searchers, the searchers are nice. The Valor at four, four P rides. Like this one surprisingly gets a pass. Besides, like the weird order ratios like this at maybe four cut down like cut down this debatable if you want to keep if you want to run this these are these are like i think they're neato they're cool that i like that they're giving us a level of defensive option but they need they need to do more they need to do more you got valor to giving p rides to the fucking as many dudes as possible like you gotta give us something also, shout out to my friend, my friend Gold, and I'll put up his, I'll put up his Twitter right here because he's, he's, he's a G. He did make, he did point out to me that technically Valord, <laughs> Valord is a unit in Overdress, so you could play as Specta Va, uh, and uh, Valiente in this list in in OG Bob Sagra. Now I think he told me that uh, Valord's a little, not no, which one? Uh, Expect is a little better because of his effect to put all the other cards back in the drop zone so pesky jet can't uh bottom deck can't bottom deck and get rid of your stuff especially since this list isn't running uh the blaze maiden that searches trick moon that just dumps in the graveyard for us we just gotta hard do that shit and jet has been a very funny deck i've been bullying a lot of uh, pbo players on on ranked because they only run one they only run one blaster dark in the ride deck so it is very fun watching uh, them just leave it there for me to bottom deck, and then their deck becomes a vanilla. It's a two crit vanguard that, uh, a two crit vanguard that does nothing. It kills two to gain ten. That's all it does. So for the Bob, so the, for, for the Bob Sagra list, I would give it a three. I would give it a three. It's not the worst, but it could be a lot better. Moving on, we have, we have the Omoniga Zuro deck. The the translations are a little bit a little bit a little little bit funky monkey so you know give it a give it a sec so right here before, like I only saw the Bob Sagra list first don't know any more of these so but so far looking all right four four one of each of the ride deck that makes sense misery wing at four this is actually a card that I'm was considering running because after looking at it after looking at it this is probably going to be better considering this deck can brick a lot same thing with as much as i like gomon in the list i'm thinking gungan ram might be the move just because again you can brick so much you can brick so easily so that having that consistency having that shit there might be a little better um i need to read what does this what 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 what, what is what is purple what does the purple one do let's see counter charge oh it's counter charger Okay. Uh, could be anything else. And I completely forgot about the Dragon Chew Roll for, for Yuki's Descent. <laughs> uh, put a Dragon Tree Marker on it. Grade through a greater Soul Blast to get a grade one from Soul. Uh, not bad, actually. 
this is actually not bad. Not, not bad at all. Considering you can call out Ruin Collector and that Ruin Collector pays for this cost alone. Not the worst, actually. You know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. This list, uh, maybe cut down a mask or two. Maybe, but you're not running the Grade 2 Searcher, so maybe, but Omni Guzio can search, Omni Guzio can search it. So, honestly, this one, a solid. I'm gonna give it a 4. I'm gonna give it a 4. Like, maybe besides cutting this... For like a Gungan Ram or an extra copy of this if you really want to go all, go all out. The soul isn't a really that much of an issue in this deck. I need to actually see if it's soul. It's soul blast too, but like you get two soul every turn. You get two soul, you're constantly riding back up, you're riding back and forth. Honestly, I think I, 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 I'm liking this. I might have to give this a shot next time I try the deck. I know I was already going to change the deck because uh, I looking back at my at my version of the deck i definitely made it a little bit too bloated because i was running i was running four like i was running four of each of the grade threes i think four mask and then a couple of the mass searchers when like looking back i'm like i maybe i don't need that much mass searching so as soon as you have one mask in rotation that's it i'm surprised i'm surprised this one gets a solid solid four solid four let's see let's see let's see if it can get Eh, let's, let, 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 let's just see if it can keep going this way. Next up, we have... Oh, this is Orphist. Okay. Next up, we have Orphist Masked. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing the extra Regis in case you don't see the mask. Because Regis... Chief of... Chief God of the Coffin. I don't know if that's... Yeah, like, <laughs> that's so funny. That is so funny. I love that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this at four. Honestly, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything too wrong. What the fuck? One? I mean, considering how the deck is meant to be played. Considering how the deck is meant to be played, maybe I can see why this is at one. Just have one called 20k tokens become 30 on p rides and then just constantly keep gaining extra tokens and extra draws with these i'm not seeing the one that dumps an order back into there but oh never mind actually they might be onto something because polaxis dragon constantly can get them back because the only one that's going to be consistently in the zone is the grade three huh no actually hold on no, no no they might be cooking they might be cooking they might be cooking hold on hold on a second I'm a little sad to see that they're not running the new grade one that instantly dumps an order. But, I mean, they got Gunder, top seven search for that shit. You can search an order with it. Like, hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I, like, I, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm being, a, maybe, maybe I'm being a little too generous here. Maybe I'm being a little, a little, a little bit too generous, but this is looking like another four to me. Like, this doesn't look that bad. So good and tasty. Moving on, we got... Oh my god, I don't even want to look at you right now. I... Gorgavidia... Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, so... I... I mean, I guess I can see it. They're just playing regular Gravidia, and if you can do the Gore Gravidia for five attacks, you, you got this. They've been running the Shiego to send Meteors back in. Once you've used them, pretty average ratio for meteors. Like you always want to be running six, seven neatness, and then obviously four hell hazard. Like combine Russian solid, extra copies of this since you're not focusing on Gorgravidia. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. This is kind of like the Al Magistar way of like maybe running a couple copies of the mask uh, Al Magistar for when you want to do a multi attack push. I can see it. I can see it. I think it's infinitely better than trying to mix both mo both gimmicks. That's something I have to. That's something that I have to stop doing. Like in my own deck building, I have to stop looking at mass decks. Like, oh, I need to run. I need to run like fucking the Great Two Searcher and this and that, and start looking at decks more like Gorgravidia isn't a boss card per se. Like it's not a pure upgrade. It's a side grade like an extra option that i can go into that's how i think i'm gonna have to look at gore gravidia because gravidia i've been playing gravidia since it came out all the way back in set three like 
Uh, this has been one of my favorite decks from Overdress. So I was a little disappointed and like in when I recorded that video because that video is gonna go first. This one I probably will get. I'm, I'm recording this the same day I recorded the Dester stuff when that shift got revealed, but I'm probably gonna be posting it this Friday. So that video should probably go up and you can see that funny, very funny bit. Um, I might try this. This looks a little weird. I don't know about the grade one, especially if being on Gorgor Gravidia isn't gonna be our main priority. Simply because this card only works with Gorgor Gravidia. I'm I'm like a thousand percent sure. This only works with Gorgor Gravidia. Yeah, if you're on fucking Gorgor Gravidia, it's the only time this fucking works. So if you're on OG if you're on the OG, it does nothing. But Combine Rusher, Baku Brito, those are already just good cards. You have to you have to give up a certain amount of your deck to run to run the meteor so like you like rear guards have never been the important part of this deck's always been the vanguard like double double the double even though i mean fucking doubling rules got changed so i mean yeah thank you silhouette man thank you silhouette man my, my, he's he's my guy he's you know he's he's something all right i'm gonna reluctantly give this a three Reluctantly. I need to test it because if not, I think just playing regular Gravidia is still the wave. And just praying that like and just praying that the rest of the support isn't just masked locked. Like this fucker is. Bastion. I'm pretty sure they already revealed this earlier and I did see this. I did very much sadly see this at the an like I think this is a list that they played either in the anime or is this uh this might uh like I don't see anything wrong with it besides maybe if you don't if you can't afford the grade four bastion playing the ride deck bastion is just as good because like you can keep activating p rides i was actually considering about looking at this guy looking at the uh looking at this guy because he gains shield and he's just it's less information to give my opponent when i'm activating the ride deck because he counts for multiples of them so i can't exactly like I, I was even thinking about running him uh, other than that, like, this card's good. I, I tried running the Axe Girl instead of this, but I simply think that this is just better than the Axe Girl simply because he just stays on the board. Alden is a must. Alden is a fucking must. Alden is, like, so fucking good. He, like, he... Oh, my God. Alden is so fucking good in this deck. <laughs> oh, my Lord. He's basically two Pot of Greed. So activate the fact that you a Pot of Greed, and then you'll restand him, and then he'll drive check you two cards. He's fucking nuts. He's insane. Same thing with the Owl. This Owl is so good. Counting as a great three in hand, you can call it with Alden skill, counter charge, all this shit. Like it is just so good, and especially even for the for, for the Bastion for the Bastion Prime version, because I'm pretty sure he can discard the Bastion from Soul as well. Like yeah, from Hand or Soul. So it's like you know you've been riding, like you activated this, you like activated it once or twice. You got rid of like a copy of him, a copy of him. You P wrote a couple times. You draw into it, boom, Bastion get rid of it from soul like boom bam you got your shit what does this one do instead of a plus of 15 look at top five unit card that's that's nuts this is great holy shit this card's not bad there's only a great three element oh, i mean we don't i mean it's, it's it's a thing it's a thing of i've noticed that you don't have to run great threes anymore because you don't have to drive check a great three for this to happen you just have to persona you persona blast so realistically you can get away there's like i'm gonna put on screen there's like a two card combo that i've been trying to run with like this grade three that calls this grade one that's like a 13k booster i'm really liking that uh like i mean it's bastion you can get away with playing damn near anything you can play get away with playing reflux you can play extra copies of ride deck guys like you can do whatever you want the only thing maybe is maybe putting the blue crit instead of the uh, instead of the Keternation one, and then the Suridol is like the most bro busted card in this deck. It is like, it, it's <laughs> like the most broken thing of all time. It's either two calls, a call and a Rota, fucking. It's a great three that you can reveal off the ride deck. Like it is like it is the best card in this deck. And if this fucking ever if like. <laughs> If they ever, for some dumbass reason, just res like pick up the restrictions on forbid uh, on this card, uh, this, this would be insane. This 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 would be insane. It's, moving on, this gets a this, to me. This gets a five out of five. This deck has been so much fun to play. This list seems fine. You could definitely pull up and like. And, and, and the thing about the changes to the deck are also very like budget friendly, which is something that like 
should be looking at too. Like if you can't afford the ridiculous fucking, I think this card's like what, 40, 20 bucks, like each copy. And a Toya, a Toya overdressed starter deck that's just been floating around will cost you maybe like a dollar. Like not a dollar, but it'll like maybe like three, two, five, four dollars will cost you for it. And like you get a whole stack of cards. Like, and, and, and you get to keep using P rides. Like, it's just Persona Ride. It's a broken ass mechanic. Like, like next. This is just, just great. Nothing bad to say about it. Like, 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 literally, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's, it's like, there's, there's no card in this deck where I'm like, why are you running that? It's, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's just, it's great. Finally, we have Magnolia Mask. I have a bone to pick with you, motherfucker. Now, I do like that it's running the Zorga Ride Line, because after, after thinking about it and talking about it, I think the Zorga Ride Line is the best way to go. Simply because Mr. Shark Habitat is a broken as fuck card. Uh, looking at this list, looking at this list, they are like, so, like they are they are going the full route. They're running Inlet Pulse. I mean, Serol's here. Uh, maybe like cut back on one of this. Like I think just six. I just think six Dragon Tree generators and like is enough. I think it's enough. The Force Glow Dragon maybe is a little is a little better if you're running more marker generators you have the mr shark habitat to get you into shit you have this to get you into shit like i i got like the blue ot maybe is cope maybe like it, it is, it's even not it's even not it's like this is like the blue ot is nice but i i think maybe just put in the regular stoikea ot for an omni trigger is just it's just that good three masks seems Maybe a little cope considering you're running four of the grade three of the grade three of the grade two mass searcher. Like, yeah, like realistically, I have nothing like this looks, this looks solid. Like again, you could pull up, you could, you could get, you could pull this up to, you could pull up with this to like locals or like a decent sized event. I think you'd be able to do pretty well. Like, you know, like this, this looks solid to me. I, I'd have to give it a five out of five. So far, honestly, these decks weren't too bad. These decks weren't too bad. I, I have to say, maybe the the, 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 the people at Bushiro, they know what they're doing. They know what they're they know what they're doing when they're making decks. I don't know about I don't know about when they design cards. I, I, I don't know when they fucking design cards. You know, just, yeah, this is the point of the mask. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna link. I'm gonna try to link the website or uh, so that like if you wanna like explore the website, cause it's pretty cool. It shows you decks like from from the set period, like. Cause I know for Deer Day, for people playing on Deer Days, looking up like, oh, Minerva deck list, you'll get one that's been like four sets advanced and you'll get cards that are like, yeah, they're not in Z, they're not in Deer Days. So uh, it's it, like, you could use this as a great resource to get lists like that. I know that when the grade fours originally came out, I rocked the list that they provided here for Magnolia and I went on a tear. So honestly sometimes don't don't doubt the don't don't doubt the bushiro deck sometimes don't don't doubt it plus they have these cool little uh, cool, cool little graphics aren't they aren't they cool they got the cool little graphics especially with the boy especially with the man Bella. anyway if you guys enjoyed the video you know what to do hit that like button follow me on twitter for the clout arc you know what it is comment down below which one of these decks do you think is the best one and which one do you think is the worst if I had to give a quick one, I think the Bastion one is pretty much perfect. And then uh, it just it shocked me about it shocked me about this one. Just like not running four of the spears, pretty much like why it's like the best one. It is the best arm. It is the best arm. Until next time, gang. It's been your boy Yazzie TCG, and we're signing out.